question 25 have a go uh, I've included over here some of the formulas that are at the front of the uh, exam booklet which you are going to uh, need for this question okay so really this is sort of a three three part process to answer this question first of all let's work out the area of T1 in general terms now an area of a non right angled triangle from the formulas is half AB sine C so that's half times the, uh, the two uh, sides A and B which is X and X sine C sine 30 now sine 30 is a half so it's a half times an X times X times a half which is a quarter X squared so the area of T1 is a quarter X squared now moving over to triangle T2 well that is a right angle triangle that's an easier area to work out it's just half times base times height so half X minus 2 times X plus 1 pair of brackets multiply that out using foil times this by a half we get this half x squared minus half x minus one now the question tells us that t1 and t2 have the same area so these equal each other which I've put done here in purple now multiplying through by four to get rid of the fractions this becomes this and then um, t taking this over to the right hand side by minusing x squared from both we basically have a quadratic to solve equaling zero now this does not factorize so we uh, are going to have to use the quadratic equation again from the tables a, a is 1 B is minus 2 C is minus 4 substituting into this formula here we get this uh, which simplifies to this and then dividing top and uh, yes then root 20 is 2 root 5 because remember that's root 4 root 5 which is 2 root 5 and then dividing through by 2 both terms we get 1 plus or minus root 5 uh, obviously area is a positive so the, the, our final answer giving it in the form of a plus root b is 1 plus root 5